Hey, hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that y'all should be proud of me. I went with something different than my typical white, light, neat, crisp, clean, neutral, interior, exterior style houses. They're still my favorite, but I promised that I would switch it up, and I did. I am building in Windenburg on the 40 by 30 lot, which is kind of an awkward size lot. You know, it's preferable for big houses, and this house is not too big, but, you know, it works. I, I did what I could with the space, but I called it Woodside because, you know, it is in the wooded area, I guess you would say. It just kind of runs like a wooded country, kind of like almost rustic, but not really. It is a family home. It's actually a pretty big big freaking house to be a one story i never build family homes that are one story just because i feel like they're too big but i got the size pretty spot on to where it's you have plenty of room but you know it's also not too spacious and too big that you're like spanning over the whole lot trying to find your sims so yeah i really really like it it's four bedroom actually four bedroom and three bath but I have one of the bedrooms as an office, so if you wanted to download this house, you can easily just, you know, make that office another bedroom if you have a lot of kids. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice. It's got the dark wood interior, as you will see. I'm proud of myself. I did something different. But yeah, it was really easy for me to, like, build this style house because um, it's just, I see it all the time. These style houses are just very frequent <laughs> down here where I live in Alabama. So yeah, I can see you know <laughs> my friends like living in houses like this because they probably some of them probably do but yeah i really like the house and i hope you guys enjoy it um if, as you'll see when we get inside of course i'm using cc as i usually do but it's the maxis match cc that i'm obsessed with i cannot refrain from using it i just i love it so much i will link it all down below and of course i will have a cc and then a non-cc version i will have the comp well actually I take that back. There will not be any comparison pictures between the two like I did in the last speed build because the difference is so similar that I, I put the pictures together and you could not tell. Like, you could not tell that it was different. So, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, <laughs> except it's not CC. But anyways, there will be two versions available and I will have all the CC linked down below. But anyways, guys, how are y'all doing today? <laughs> um... I hate talking about the build the whole time because I just, I don't know what to say, okay? Um, but you will see in just a second, I did do something different. I, just to make room, or not room, to make use of the space, I put a driveway and I put some cars. And I don't ever use the cars because I'm like, they don't, they're not even functional. But I like how other people do it. And so I tried it and I really like it. And as you know, I have my Sims 3 Let's Play going on. And I really do miss cars. Y'all, I, I miss cars so much. Can we just, um, you know, cross our fingers that with the Sims 5 or the next generation that we have cars again? I mean, even if it's not open world, I wouldn't be mad if it's not open world. I mean, it'd be better if it was, but I, I wouldn't complain as long as we had, like, cars that we could, like, work on. You know, you used to be able to work on the cars and, you know, sit in the cars, and that was really cool, and I really do miss that. I really do. From, like, The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, just, like, combine it all together. Man, that'd be one awesome awesome game let's just combine the sims 2 sims 3 and sims 4 all of our favorite features and improve the gra graphics and then bam sims 5 i'd be satisfied and give me seasons in base game and boy <laughs> i would hop on that in an instant but yeah anyways yeah I'm, i've been thinking about the sims 5 just because i'm so anxious for a teaser or a trailer or an announcement of our next expansion pack i think it's about time we get one soon a, a teaser at least a quarterly teaser i think everybody's been saying that should be coming soon i'm no expert uh i have no idea i don't have any inside source but i'm just assuming and i'm hoping because i'm dying for seasons i know it's in the works i'm so excited and then i really want university i think I'll, i might want university more than i want seasons yeah i'm gonna say it i really do i miss university so 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 much but anyways <laughs> um let me just go ahead and explain something real quick because I'm probably not going to talk about the build the whole time because I just can't do it. But you will see in some parts of the house, um, <laughs> I'll start like swatching or going through the swatches and then it'll just like clip to 
almost done like I almost furnished room that's because for some reason this house took me forever to build and I think the reason why is because I was just really indecisive really indecisive on some of the rooms I just could not figure out like the style I wanted to go for because this is just not my preference you know I like those light colored and I really wanted to use that but it just didn't match the aesthetic of this house so I struggled a little bit but nonetheless it turned out really nice <laughs> But anyways, y'all, if you don't follow me on Twitter, y'all should, but I tweeted the other day, and I said, yo, um, stay tuned for a video this week for my first ever face cam, so I'm excited. I'm actually probably going to record it today, maybe, um, if I do today, um, if I do today, <laughs> if I do record it today with a face cam, I'll be prepared. I'm going to look pretty ratchet, but that's the usual for me. <laughs> You know, that's just me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm excited about it because, look, I have been struggling so bad with my editing videos and whatnot because OBS was not working. I've said that a million times. It just would not play my game. Well, not play my game. It wouldn't record my game smoothly. And I do have, like, an awesome graphics card, and I just could not get it to run my game smoothly. And the settings on OBS were so freaking complicated that I could not figure out what the heck that stuff meant. I'm not a computer bureau, tech bureau. I have no idea. But anyways, so I started using Fraps, and so, you know, with Fraps, you can't really use, like, a uh, face cam. You have to, like, go and use, like, X-Split and different things to capture the video camera the same time you do the gameplay, and it's just all this complicated stuff. So I was like, eh, now nah, I'm just not going to worry about it until, you know, it's easier for me to do it. Um, so anyways, I randomly, you know, I was like, hey, let me just, let me just check out OBS and see, you know, if I can fool with my settings because... You know, recording with Fraps and trying to do speed build, it just did not work with Femora Wondershare. For some reason, it just, they clashed. It was horrific, horrific trying to freaking um, edit a video, especially a speed build. But anyways, um, I randomly went on to OBS the other day, and there was an update. And I was like, yes, yes, an update, yes. Is that going to fix my problem? And it did, y'all. It's like, I don't know what I did or I don't know but it's like so much simpler now there's not even the option to change the bit rate and well there is an option to change the bit rate but you know all them other settings I, there, there wasn't even an option I didn't even have to fool with it and I went on my game and it's just running so smoothly and so now I can do face cut face car now I can do face car <laughs> what? I, I talk too fast sometimes y'all and I stutter over my words we know that anyways I can do face cam now and I'm excited and I don't know if it's something that I will do for every video probably not just because I look like a toe every single day I just I'm lazy I'll be the first one to say it and I don't like to get up early to fix my hair or even really put my makeup on so I don't care what I look like when I go to work and I don't care what people think about me if I look ratchet I'm gonna look ratchet at least I'm comfortable and I'm happy okay so yeah I was like well no because then I would feel like I have to look decent or then they'd be like ew but you know what, whatever, it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, but also, aside from the fact that it would, you know, me be looking ratchet the whole time. <laughs> also, I just, I don't know, sometimes I think that face cam can kind of be distracting. Um, not always, sometimes. And maybe it's just me that gets distracted by it when I'm watching some people's let's plays or their speed builds or anything they have a face cam i'm looking at them the whole time they're talking just because that's what i do i look at people when when they're talking and then they'll be explaining or laughing about something going on i'm like wait huh what i, I wasn't looking because i was looking at you but i know a lot of people really do enjoy seeing face cam just because you can see my reactions or the person you're watching's reactions and i think it also would make it feel more personable i don't know so we're gonna try it out and if it's something that you guys want to see more of then y'all will just have to let me know um i don't know i haven't done it yet so i'm kind of nervous i wonder if it's gonna influence me in any way you know like intimidate me i guess you would say not influence like intimidate me while recording so yeah i don't know oh but those couches that is custom content couches. Okay, the custom content in this house, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. The custom content used in these houses are the couches and the cabinets and the, um, the cabinets and the counters. Yes, in the kitchen. I was like, what? I cannot think of the word. 
sorry. Um, and yeah, like I said, the couches, which the couches are just different swatches of the cats and dogs. And the swatch I replaced it with was the other cream colored one. I think it just had like blue pillows that are non non cc so that's why i didn't include the pictures because they're so similar and then of course i use the curtains i always use from the rustic romance pack um i love those curtains they're beautiful so i change those curtains not a big difference and then of course i always use those showery colors from parenthood so yeah that oh and also in the girls room the daughter's room or the child the child's room um she has a whole bed set that is custom content but it is you know maxis match it's very cute so i recommend all of these maxis match objects okay these build mode objects i said it before and i'll say it again you're missing out <laughs> because i don't know i just feel like it gets so much you know it, it gets boring using the same swatches over and over and over again so i like the recolors i really do appreciate those but yeah anyways <laughs> I think that's all I had to say about the house. Oh, it is furnished, of course, for... It, the girl has a hamster cage, so if you don't have, you know, the pack that everybody's so eh about, the My First Pet pack, then you won't have the um, some of the stuff in here, but it is, you know, you can replace it. It's furnished for, you know, a little hamster, a cat, and a dog. So, yeah, all your pets can be a pet friendly family home and i really like it but anyways what else can we talk about oh <laughs> i know i know i know okay so <laughs> yesterday um i was building this house and i was sitting in the living room you know on my laptop building the house and my boyfriend's mom is over and she comes over and she, she's nosy <laughs> and she like leans over my shoulder and she's like oh what is that and i was like oh i'm playing the sims i'm building and she's like oh that's cool she's never heard of the sims like i mean is she living under a rock that's what i was thinking to myself <laughs> it made me feel really lame i was like you haven't heard of the sims what <laughs> but anyways um she was like wow that's cool you're look at this timmy like my boyfriend she's an architect and he was dying laughing i was like no i mean it's not really like you know architecture i was like yeah you can build houses but no it's not like that you know and i was like you know you can also you know play with sims like they're people and you can have families and do like all kinds of stuff and so i went into a household and showed her you know how you can play with the people and or the sims and she was just like wow you know just as serious as she can be she was like wow that, that i bet that's really good for people who don't have any friends or family you know and they just don't really have a life and like i mean she was serious like she wasn't trying to insult me but i was just like yeah, uh-huh, ex exactly, like, me, exactly, and she was like, oh, no, I, I was like, no, it's okay, it's me, I understand, but yeah, exactly, I don't, I don't have any friends, I would rather play with my virtual sims, it's true, but anyways, I thought that was funny, <laughs> and she was asking my boyfriend, she's like, well, do you play the sims, and he was like, no, no, I don't play the sims, mom, <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she goes, and <laughs> I'm just kidding, she works too much to play the sims, but yeah, uh, that was funny that was that was funny also i don't know if i said this before i don't know maybe i said it in another video my boyfriend went out of town this past weekend right and so i was staying by myself y'all are y'all scared to stay by yourselves or is that just me because i was cr okay well here's my thing i am really into true crime like missing person cases i like to watch that stuff i have so many people on youtube that i watch that do that kind of stuff like missing person cases and true crimes and they cover murders and all of that and i'm just i'm really into it it's very interesting i like to be you know in my head like calculating who did it i wonder who did it you know i don't know it's just always been so interesting to me even as a kid my grandma and my mom are very interested in it so they was always watching investigation discovery channel and true crime and all that on tv so i've always been interested in it but it's really shown to bite me in the butt because it causes me to be really scared um there was a point when we first got the apartment that i was still getting used to like being there and of course like my boyfriend lives with me but you know there were so many times that you know i get home before him i get home like, three hours before he gets home he works late and so uh, i would watch those videos on my phone all day long at work and i would start to pull up to the house and i'd just be thinking about what i just watched and like 
people think this would never happen to me. I was like, but I mean, what if somebody's been watching me? You know, what if they, they got into the apartment and they're waiting on me? And like, I would be so scared, y'all, that my heart, like I'm not even kidding, it would be pounding out of my freaking chest. And I'd be scared to go inside that I would, no lie, call my mom or my nan or my boyfriend. And I would not go in until somebody picked up the phone. But I wouldn't say, hey, I'm scared because I've been watching like true crime documentaries and stuff all day. So, will you just talk to me? That way when I get inside, if there's somebody waiting on me, I'll be on the phone and I could just say, help, dial 911. Um, no, I didn't do that. I just, I'll sit out in the car until they answer and then I just casually be like, oh, hey, how, how, what are y'all doing? <laughs> and then I'd unlock the door, I'd peek my head in, turn all the lights in the house on, all the lights, and I'd sit there for a second and I'd make sure I didn't hear any noises, make sure nobody was going to jump out and then I'd, I'd be good, you know, but it's gotten a little bit better. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that scared anymore. I don't have to do that. I can go home without, you know, calling my mom or anything. I've, I've gotten a lot more comfortable at the place. Um, but at the same time, being there by myself was scary. But I'm proud of myself. I did it. I only stayed with my mom one night <laughs> out of like four. So I did pretty good. But yeah. I don't, why did I just tell y'all that? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of stuff to talk about. So can y'all relate? Let me know. Can you relate? because yeah it's a problem it's 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 a problem and I, I used to say that I wanted to you know be an investigator or something like that or forensics because I've just always been so interested in it but I don't know I don't think I could I don't have the stomach for it I feel like I'd be heartbroken way too much and I actually had a cousin that her dad was an investigator a cop and she was really into that too just like me I guess it just runs in the family I'm not really sure but um she was interested in it and so she went to school for it and everything got a job she was like a crime scene investigator and she quit after her very first homicide she quit she said there's no way she can do it it was too hard I think it was a child which is I'm sure like 10 times more hard but just she said she couldn't do it and then I feel like I'd be having to look over my back the whole time in that career thinking that somebody was going to come after me if I solved the mystery you know I don't know y'all I am a paranoid freak I am the definition of neurotic and overdramatic that is me so yeah guys um I'm running out of stuff to talk about <laughs> and this build is wrapping up I'm working on the office this is the office that I mentioned you could definitely use as another bedroom but yeah as you can see everything is very spacious you can easily move that desk maybe not all of the stuff in that room you might have to get rid of some of it but you can move the desk into like the parent bedroom or even right there in the entry and entry entrance way you can fit the desk there but i really really liked how i utilized a bunch of different objects so your sims can have skills there's music there's painting the kitchen just reminded me of somewhere like a, a chef or a baker or something I don't know like I could just imagine that type of sim living in this house like the mom maybe being like a chef or owning her own restaurant or her own bakery or something and she really likes to cook it just looks like a, a cooker's kitchen <laughs> a cooker's kitchen I almost sounded like a hooker's kitchen what anyways y'all I've had too much coffee today and yeah before I embarrass myself I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here so stay tuned for my very awkward probably video um with face cam probably tomorrow i might do it in the torres legacy and possibly the sims 3 all in one we'll see we'll see how I've, how the reaction is to the torres legacy but anyways guys yeah i hope you enjoyed this build as always it is for down <laughs> It is available, I'm sorry, available for download on the gallery CC version and non-CC version. All the CC will be linked down below. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the build and I will talk to y'all later.
show you that I 